Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Madonna Albright. And I'm Jenny Day. We begin tonight with the border. Title 42 has now been in place for more than two years, used by two different administrations. The law allows the U.S. government to deport migrants before they can even seek asylum, citing that if they come across, there's a chance of them possibly spreading COVID. Some argue it's one of the most effective tools the government can use to stop illegal immigration, but others say it's a human rights violation. Our Adam Klepp joins us live from the border wall with an in-depth look at the controversial policy and how it impacts us right here at home. Good evening, Adam. According to U.S. Customs and Border Protection statistics, over half of all migrants who have crossed into the United States this year have either been sent back to their home country or to Mexico under Title 42. But as a deadline to either end or extend that policy looms, the futures of millions of migrants hangs in the balance. Over the last two years, millions of migrants have arrived in Mexican cities across the entire southern border. However, not all of them are coming from the South. According to the most up-to-date data from CBP, over 1.7 million migrants have been sent back to Mexico or their home country after crossing to the United States under Title 42 since it was implemented in 2020. One of those migrants is Lionel Deras. I met him in a migrant shelter in Mexicali. Deras says he's fleeing Honduras, a country in Central America. He says he has attempted to cross into the United States seven times, including into Yuma, but claims Border Patrol keeps sending him back to Mexico and once even flew him back to Honduras. Once they held me for an hour before sending me back to Mexico. Another time they held me for two and a half months before sending me back. Dara says he's fleeing Honduras due to violence and a lack of economic opportunity. Honduras continues to have one of the highest murder rates in the entire world. According to government figures, a staggering 3,651 people were killed in 2021 alone. This is why many immigrant advocates say Title 42 needs to end, as they say it denies migrants their legal right to seek asylum. Title 42 is an illegal policy. It's an inhumane policy, and it has subjected over... 8,000 people to a lot of harm, if not death, over the span of these past two years. Gia Del Pino works for the Kino Border Initiative based in Nogales, Arizona. Just this past Monday, members of their group, as well as migrants in Nogales, protested Title 42 on the two-year anniversary of its implementation. Del Pino says the Kino Border Initiative has partnered with the Florence Project pro bono immigration lawyers to give migrants legal advice in Mexico. Tell them essentially that, that right now there is no asylum process and, and the reason why is because there's Title 42 in place. While groups like the Kino Border Initiative are urging the White House and the CDC to end Title 42, others are pushing back. Tim Romer, the director of the Arizona Department of Homeland Security, says the policy helps law enforcement from being overwhelmed and improves public safety in American border cities like Yuma. That is not a solution to just say, oh, we don't like these policies, they're inhumane, so just let everybody in. In fiscal year 22, the United States is on pace to have 2 million apprehensions at the southern border, which would be a second straight record-breaking year. Romer says recent crossing numbers in the Yuma sector have reached 1,500 a day. Ultimately, he believes a long-term solution needs to come from Washington but for now, says Title 42 works. You know, we need to be able to do some things like Title 42 to prevent this from spilling over into something even worse. Despite Title 42 and continuous funding from the federal government for border security, migrants like Leonel Deras are not deterred. He told me he was in Mexicali to cross for an eighth time, becoming increasingly desperate to make a new life in the United States. It's their law as to why I can't get in. The only way to get in is to evade Border Patrol. So the deadline for that decision on Title 42 is coming on April 2nd. The White House says they are preparing for a potential surge in crossings should Title 42 end, as likely there are many migrants waiting in Mexico for the policy to go away. Reporting live at the border wall, Adam Klett, News 11.